AutoCAD PNID is a Windows compliant program, which means that the interface shares similarities between other programs that run on Microsoft Windows. The most common item is the application menu. This tool is located in the upper left corner of the application window. Select the icon, which has a large A located on it, and the application menu appears. This menu contains file or document management tools. The application menu contains the following tools. New allows you to create a new DWG or sheet set file from scratch. Since most of the files we will be working with will be created using the project manager, this tool is rarely used, but it is available. Open allows you to open any of the supported file types including DWG, DWS standards files, DWT template files, or DXF Autodesk product files. You can also use this tool to open drawings that are stored in an Autodesk 360 account. Other items you can open include sheet sets and DGN files that are created using Bentley software applications. Select the drawing option. If you are in the open dialog, you can browse to any location to open files. Select cancel to close the dialog and return to the application menu. Save and Save As become available for use when a file has been modified. For example, diagrams may have been added to the file, so you want to save the changes. You can then save the edited file to any location as needed. If a drawing is created using the project manager, it will be stored in the default location for the project. If you are working in an AutoCAD drawing that is not associated with a project, then you can choose where to save the file. One of the Save As options allows you to use Save As to store a drawing in an Autodesk 360 account. Keep in mind that AutoCAD PNID drawings are a little different and require associated project files to work correctly. A drawing stored in an Autodesk 360 account will behave similarly to a plain AutoCAD file, so make sure you're aware of this difference. Other options for Save As include creating template DWT files standards DWS files, and other formats such as DXF. You can also save the contents of a paper space layout tab to model space in a new drawing. The DWG Convert option lets you save drawings to older releases. This tool is very similar to the eTransmit tool but has a few key differences. Click the DWG Convert tool. In the dialog, Click the Conversion Setups tool. In the Conversion Setups dialog, select Convert to AutoCAD 2010 in place. Right click this setup and then click Modify. In the Modify Conversion Setup dialog, you can define the package type, file format, conversion folder locations, and file names, and other path options. You can also set several actions, such as creating backup copies, converting digitally signed files, check and fix errors, set the plotter to none, bind external references, purge drawings, and replace page setups. Click Cancel to close this dialog and then Close to return to the DWG Convert dialog. Close this dialog to continue. Export allows you to create DWF, PDF, MicroStation DGN, FBX files for 3D Studio, and other formats. Publish helps you send a drawing file to a 3D printing service, create an archive of an entire sheet set of drawings and any related files, eTransmit lets you pick one or more drawing files and any dependent files and put them in a compressed file or specific folder location. Email lets you attach the current file to an email. The print command gives you several output options. Plot prints a single drawing to a connected printer, plotter, or file. Batch plot allows you to create a list of defined sheets and drawings and send them as a group to a printer, plotter, or file. Plot preview gives you a quick look at how the file would appear when printed. View Plot and Publish Details displays a record of what you printed recently. 
Page setup helps you control printing information such as paper size, orientation, and more. Manage plotters helps you edit the default window settings for your printer or plotter and make adjustments to save time. Manage plot styles let you manage which plot style tables are used when printing a drawing. And edit plot styles helps you edit the line weights and colors used to control how a print looks. If your product was purchased as part of a suite, suite workflows are primarily used to control how 3D models interact with 3D Studio and showcase applications. Since PNIDs are commonly 2D views, you'll rarely need these tools. Drawing utilities allow you to review the properties of the drawing file, such as author and location. Units set the coordinates, distance measurement, and angle formats and precision. Audit lets you check the drawing for errors and correct them. Status gives you the statistics for the drawing and displays the dimensional limits and extents. Purge helps you clean out unused layers, blocks, text and dimension styles, and other unnamed items from the drawing. And Recover helps you bring back a drawing that might have been corrupted. The Drawing Recovery Manager shows you a list of any files that were closed or crashed and helps you recover the files. The last command on the menu is the Close command. This closes the current file, including any views that might be opened. You can also select Close All Drawings to help you get out of the files quicker. A nice feature of the Application menu is the list of recent files. This shows you what files you have opened and allows you to pick them again from this list. There are so many tools you can put to use in the application menu, and you will be using this tool frequently, so be sure to familiarize yourself with it.